every cast one bite there's one standing right there yo guys welcome back to fishing park i'm back at the big river again i'm at the rhine trying to catch some perch and zander but first as always the intro so you might have noticed that something is off with this video this time well it is i'm speaking english not german so now you know the thing is i, I thought about my viewership with you guys and i came to the conclusion that speaking english would help the channel grow because speaking english would open the channel to way more countries than just germany and i think you guys are, are probably capable of understanding me even though i'm speaking english so from now on i think i'll produce in english you can write in the comments what you think about that but i just don't want um i don't want to limit myself to germany i want to well i want this thing to be a worldwide thing so i want people from asia from america from africa spain france scandinavia to understand me and i think since english is the universal language um i'm going for english from now on well since probably a few guys of you are new to the channel now because i've probably posted the thumbnail in english as well so um oh i just found a knife look at that not much left of it but i think at one point it was a knife ah from solingen the klingenstadt in germany so what was i saying ah let me reintroduce myself my name is tilo i'm a former chef i'm a fisherman from germany i'll go predator fishing with you here at the rhine mostly at the area of north rhine westphalia and i'm posting fishing vlogs for you every friday so stay tuned so i came here to the rhine today hoping that the water level increased a bit since it's not been that warm anymore and we had a bit of rain actually but i don't know why but the water level actually decreased and now i could probably walk where the fish would be you can see that behind me it's everything dried out even when it was super warm the water wasn't that that far gone but i don't think we'll be able to catch anything right now because my the fish i'm i'm here for the zander or zander well it stays in the in the deeper water and um well there is no deeper water here right now so we'll probably pack things and go somewhere else try to catch some perch or well maybe even zander but somewhere else or some pikes whatever bites well we've been walking quite a while now or oh, i have carrying you guys so i think before we leave here we'll have a short coffee break i brought my super camouflaged bag which i probably wouldn't find anymore if i dropped it somewhere that's gonna be enough Well, there's something weird in this cooker. I think I ground it for nothing. Well, this is so stupid. I keep coming here in almost all of my videos trying to, to show you some nice nature background where I catch some fish. And every time the goddamn water is so low that it doesn't make any sense fishing here. So once again, we're gonna change place. I don't know where we're going now. I think we'll probably go back to the harbor or maybe to one of the channels here in north rhine westphalia is it called channel in english channels the water connection between cities is it called channels so i guess i'll meet you there then so i decided to come back to the harbor try to catch some perch 
that worked great in the last weeks here. So I hope we'll catch something today. the new one that's my favorite bait by the way the Charlie but I lost my lead and I think soon I'll have to mold some new ones because I'm doing those myself I've got a mold for that so I think I'll show you how I do that at some point but I'll have to figure how because the way I'm doing it now is probably quite dangerous for my for my lungs because I'm breathing in a lot of lead fumes which I heard isn't that good for you so I'll have to figure out a safe way to do that and then I'll show you people how you can do it yourself This might be a no-catch day. In Germany we say Schneider. You're a Schneider. You don't catch. Schneider means... What does it mean? Like dressmaker maybe? Someone who makes clothes. What do you guys call it when you don't catch a fish in your countries? Write it in the comments, I'd really like to know. Not just the English word, but wherever you came from, how do you call it if you don't catch a fish? you have a word for that? If you have, write in the comments, I'd really like to know. Whatever that word is, I'll probably be it by the end of the day. Well, I'm calling it a day for today. Let's make a little time skip. And it's the next day. So we're at the canal now. I've looked it up, it's called canal. It's called channel if it's a natural waterway. And if it's made by humans, it's a canal. So there you go, I'm educating you. Or rather, I'm educating me and telling you that I did. So you can be proud of me. And we're trying to catch some perch now. See, that's the problem with the drop shot. Sometimes your lures just get ripped in half by the hook. See that here? And the hook gets pulled through the lure, especially when you snag it then it splits it half open. So you can glue that back together, but I didn't bring my glue, so I have to change it now for now. I'm using that one. I don't know if it's the right time or the right lure for that, but I'm trying it. Since I saw some top water action going on there, I'll try to make it work. So let's try the papa then. I think I might be able to get it to work from up here. Yeah, when I'm just using the spool. It does work for a certain distance, but if I'm getting too close here, I'm just too high up.
Yeah, I can't really jerk or twitch it. It's jumping out of the water immediately then. So I have to use the reel. To make it pop, we'll change the spot once again. So I've made a decision. We're not gonna hunt for perch or zander today anymore, but we're gonna catch some bait fish that we're gonna use in the next video to catch some predators. So I've bought some maggots and we're trying to catch some gobies and some small white fish and then we'll put it on the ground in the next video since I got the carbon leader on my main line already and I didn't want to cut that off see it's bound directly to the braid here yeah, now you should be able to see I just took another piece of carbon line and attached a piece of lead to it that can run freely on the line and then I put a swivel at the end of it with a little piece of bird shot as a stopper because I didn't have plastic stoppers and at the end of that again there's a little hook that we're putting the maggots on so I'm just gonna throw that out and hopefully it'll catch some little gobies so we got us a nice little bundle of maggots here I hope the gobies like them Yep, they do. There's the first one. Those things actually are an invasive species here at the Rhine. We're not allowed to put them back into the river, which I'm not going to do anyway because I want them to fish with them. Let's get a few more. I'd say like 10. I didn't, didn't even realize that thing was biting. Another little goby. Every cast, one bite. Number four. Let's get number five. There we go. <laughs> We've got number five. So I heard you could even eat those little things, but I think they would need to be a little bit bigger. They emptied my hook. New maggots. And we got number six. This is kind of repetitive, isn't it? We've got seven though. 
two more to go oh damn it I lost it now it's quite rocky number eight though well I'm not very good at math as it turns out because it's still two to go right eight is just there were three to go now it's two well that's a bigger one number eight it's quite a bit taller than one to seven so I'm really not very good at math or at counting because that one was number nine not number eight so one last fish and I think then we got enough for tomorrow would be nice if we could get another species not just gobies some white fish would be cool maybe a small perch uh, but I think it's a goby again I think we got it feels a little bit bigger uh, it isn't though oh well, that's the smallest one I've got <laughs> god damn it seems my feeling sensation isn't the best as well that's a small fella there's one standing right there I think that's it for the video my first English video I hope you enjoyed it as I said I'm not a native speaker obviously so don't be too hard on me in the comments please write into the comments if you liked my video if you understood me because as I told you I think it will open up the channel to to everyone and if you liked the video please subscribe like and comment and I'll see you in the next one